Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Manny's Fitness Program on YouTube. Glad to have you. Glad you clicked on this video. And on this video, we're going to be reacting to Nico Cado Avocado. This is part two. I did a video on him, uh, I think a month ago or something like that. And a lot of you have been asking me to do a part two. So here it goes. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reacting to his strategies when it comes down to calorie consumption challenges. And not only that, but also I'm going to be checking out Matt Stoney. If you have a question, comment, or concern, make sure you leave it down below. I love reading your comments, answering your questions, all that good stuff. Other than that, let's get the video started. All right, are you guys ready? So we are here in his main page, I think, because I did a little bit of research and he has a ton of YouTube channels. And I know some of them are, might be fan pages and uh, let's see what we can get into. This is his latest video here on this channel that he has. And I think this is one of his main channels, the biggest channels. And uh, he's doing a Matt Stoney's 10,000 calorie flaming hot Cheetos challenge. Let's see. Okay. Right off the back, um, I'm not going to be doing the reactions to this guy as often as I was planning to because I don't want to encourage this type of... Uh, uh, performance because I know that eating challenges has a certain strategy and a certain way to do it in order f to not harm the body and destroy yourself from all the bad food or and or too many calories that you're consuming at once so let's check it out let's let's see well what, what we can get into I guess he's shopping for the Flaming Hot in order to do the challenge. But uh, I did a little bit of research beforehand, and I think he ended up saying that he busted his one of his toes, so that's why he's on the electric cart, not because of his weight. Uh, that's what he's saying. And uh, but I can tell already from the last time I've seen him, he is gaining more and more weight as he continues with the uh, eating challenges, which is a bad deal in regards to his body composition he does look very overweight especially here on this picture he looks very different to tell you the truth so some of you commented on my last video giving me a little bit of information his background and he has been getting a lot of weight I guess he used to be thin uh, just because you're thin doesn't mean you're healthy by the way because it, it goes down to your body composition some people look normal but in reality they might be super low in muscle mass and high enough in body fat to where they construct their body at a normal uh, at a normal basically image so just because you're thin doesn't mean you're healthy let's check it out I like the Christmas music and he posted this on December 28th so it was before New Year's right after Christmas and he is still doing the challenges on the last on the last um, episode or video I did mention that it's all right to do these eating challenges I don't have nothing against them but you still have to take care of yourself you got to do it the, uh, the right way if you're not I'm sorry to say, but something can happen to you when it comes down to heart attacks, strokes, or even just bodily functions going out of control. So if you know what I mean. And uh, let's see, let's see if we can skip through. He's just shopping for his 
groceries and stuff so we're gonna skip over this and um, get get straight into the main challenge um, I usually look for any any little details any information that he usually speaks about just to kind of get the context of his lifestyle in order to understand if he is even willing or trying to at least work out or or do something to counter any extra weight gain from the challenges he's still grabbing other stuff okay so there he is so there it is right there um okay so my shirt because I sweated from all that work and before you say oh well you're on a scooter excuse me excuse me excuse you first of all the only reason I was on a scooter it's not because of my weight don't even start those rumors it was only because um, oh my toe is hurt and it's black and blue and I'm on antibiotics which is making me have diarrhea so anyway we so there it is right there yeah I guess he busted his toe but he still got exhausted by doing whatever he needed to be doing and not really walking much so that's already a sign of the level of cardio that somebody has Let, let's continue so there it is so he's just uh Taking the Matt Stoney's challenge, I guess Matt Stoney is another competitor eater or something like that. Let me check him out. We're going to go to Matt Stoney's latest video. All right, so this is Matt Stoney right here. I love flaming hot Cheetos. This is going to be no problem. <laughs> All right, so this guy, he looks thin. But like I mentioned earlier, just because you're thin doesn't mean you're healthy. Let's check them out. I never, never really came across Matt Stoney. Weeks challenge today, flaming hot Cheeto time. This right here is four entire 15 ounce party size bags of flaming hot Cheeto. With each bag at 2,550 calories a piece, this mountain of. So he said it was. Um, oh, okay. 2500 I thought it was 25,000 so 2500 so yes there you go around 10 10,000 plus calories This is one of those video ideas that sounds great on paper, but then once you think about it... That's a lot of hot Cheetos. I've tried hot Cheetos before, and one thing that hot Cheetos has, of course, is high in carbs and super high in sodium. That's going to be the main ingredient that's going to trigger your blood pressure. It'll make your body pop uh, with so much pressure going into your bloodstream. Yikes. My neck's getting a little... Very dangerous, very dangerous. Okay, as many as possible in 10 minutes. So he's gonna he's gonna eat fast. He's gonna really eat fast and and uh, not take his time. And this was this this was Nico Cato's um, challenge that he ended up doing. And he has the water, a gallon of milk, because it is known it is known that milk it does alleviate some some hotness. Boom, go. And he is a competitor eater right here. He, it looks like he knows what he's doing. I, I'm gonna have to make a separate video on this guy, Matt Stoney's, and check out his fitness, nutrition, aside from his challenges. See, see how he's taking care of himself in order to maintain or, 
are having this kind of lifestyle or this kind of uh, career sustainable. But man, these are not only hot, but super high in sodium. So that's what makes it super challenging. And it, it can be super dangerous for the gut as well, of course. But uh, I guess this is just a challenge that he wants to take. I just hope nothing bad happens to him at, on the spot and or afterwards. All right, so he has five minutes, 20 seconds left. You can see the tray, the tray, that is good. Well, he, he's, he's doing some damage, he's doing some damage. I wonder, he's gonna try to finish the whole thing in 10 minutes, so I'm, I'm glad they're speeding this thing up. And uh, he's getting down to the last minutes. He's probably burning them. It's not, they're not as hot as you think. I, like I said, I tried these before. I don't think I'll ever do something like this because you can be left with the long-term uh, health issue. Digesting issue. That kind of stuff. So he has two minutes left. He's going for it. And right there, he is done. It looks like he at least got half, so he, he probably consumed around 5,000 calories right here just on that. So let's see. I want to know, see if I, I can estimate his uh, calorie intake correctly. Let's see how many calories he ended up consuming. It's the crunchiness. It's the mouth. Uh, there's, so total, we ate 426.75 Cheetos in 10 minutes. That is 426. One every one point five seconds it wasn't fun but i actually think i did better than i thought i thought i thought i don't even know what i was thinking all right well that's it that is what remains of the mountain of flaming hot box below so there it is that is matt stoney's challenge and now let's go let's head back to nico Cado. so we are back over here to Very moderate. uh nico Cado. He's not really going for time. He's just eating. Um, I guess he was. I guess I guess eating Cheetos as in a competitive way is trending right now. I'm guessing that's kind of why he ended up doing it. But uh, in comparison, uh, Matt Stoney looks thin. I'm I'm not gonna judge or criticize him at all because i need to do a little bit of research and get some context but right here nicocado here he's just enjoying his cheetos and and uh it looks like he he got the same amount as, as matt stoney but he's not near as many hot cheetos as matt stoney consumed um this is kind of it right here so i think that this is his last consumption here. He didn't really do too much on the challenge. I'm glad he didn't eat the whole thing. So I guess, you know, he mentioned vegetables, you know, get some fiber in him. But uh, there it is right there. I, I don't really have much to say. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to leave him a comment and uh, see if I can contact him and I will be willing to uh, be be his fitness instructor and uh, instruct him in a good workout regimen and nutrition regimen along with his eating challenges. You can modify a meal plan. You can modify your nutrition in order for you to fit an eating challenge like this and still manage to keep it sustainable and in a healthy manner to its uh, to a certain extent of of course because these eating challenges. I don't think that you can escape from them being uh, unhealthy, depending on the foods, especially. And a lot of times these eating challenges are weird foods, like foods like this, these uh, flaming hot Cheetos, very processed, you know, bad oils and pure carbs and super high in sodium and other seasonings, uh, preservatives, so on and so on. So... You can't uh, es escape that, but you can counter anything that's gonna bother the body, the body's digesting system and overall body uh, health. So with that said, let me leave them a comment right here. 
I'm gonna leave them a comment and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have you guys look at my comment so it, it is uh, okay so hi Nico Kato all right so there it is right there I left them a, a comment see if it gets to him I tried to go into his Instagram and I couldn't get to it something was wrong with it but uh this is what I said hi Nico Kato my name is Manny and I'm a fitness instructor slash marine drill instructor slash marine martial arts instructor your challenges challenges are crazy to say the least and I'm not against them at all the only thing that concerns me is not noticing you having a proper fitness and nutrition regimen that has to go along with your eating challenges and or YouTube career. Many others that do these challenges have a fitness nutrition program to keep themselves safe from destroying their body and health. Long story short, I would love to train you and or coach you online for free as long as you listen to my commands, procedures, instructions, corrections, guidance, and modifications throughout the course. I'm willing to train you for one month for free so you can see the results and to experience enjoying what you're doing and staying in good health and, sh and shape. Please let me know if you're interested. My Instagram is on my channel in the description if you would like to DM me. I uh, hope I hear from you soon. Take care. By the way, I made a reaction video on you a couple of weeks ago reacting to your challenges in parentheses, which was funny, but left me concerned. And due to comments requesting another, I am here. So there it is right there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, Hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification button. That way you don't miss none of my future videos. Other than that, you guys take care. Be safe. Be nice with each other. Always and forever, mind, body, and strive.